Hello everybody, Stuart from Roku here. One of the things that we hear a lot with fine tuning and building out data sets is we'd love to be able to use it, but we don't know Jason. Who is Jason? Is Jason somebody who we need to contact to get our stuff done? Uh, people don't want to do it with code and creating these files in text editors is really cumbersome and takes a lot of time. So we thought, is there an easier way to do it? And we decided to build it. So today I'm excited to introduce the dataset studio to you, which we built directly into the version two of Riku. So let's see how you fast you can build a dataset with the dataset studio and how easy it is with no code. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to go into Riku, go to the version two dashboard and you'll notice we have under the create settings on the left menu, there is dataset studio. If you click this, you will see a page like this and you can put your prompt in the top here and you can put your completion in the other box. So there's always going to be two boxes and you'll notice what I've done here is I've got something which is multi-line, which would be ruined in the JSONL file uh, if it did not automatically replace the line breaks with uh, JSON friendly text. So we have product title, product description. We could just, I didn't fill this in. Let's just say Ninja resistance. Uh, no, let's just put these bands off for home exercise. Ensuring a healthy lifestyle. So we have our two inputs that we want to have in this fine tune and we have our output, which is under the completion. Once we've got something like this, all we need to do is we have this button in the top right, which is add prompt and completion to JSONL. If we hit this, bam, it's done. We have the first line of our JSONL file. You'll notice that these line breaks have automatically been adjusted to JSON friendly uh, code and we have the prompt and we have the completion. These boxes at the top will reset so we can go again with our next one. So we could come in and we could say uh, Ragnarok wallets. We could say uh, uh, Nordic wallets with a uh, with an eye for fashion and durability. And then we could say uh, Nordic uh, Ragnarok wallets. Wallets are great. That is fashionable, high quality, and remain safe. So I'm just sort of building this up as a demonstration. So I don't want to take too much time to actually do this, but we can then add this as the second line of our uh, JSON L file by hitting the same button in the top right here. So we do that, we have the second line in our file. If we want to remove a line, all we have to do is hit this button and it will remove the last line. Ideally, you want to have at least 50 for when you do a fine tune. And when you have all of these together, so if I was just put some nonsense in here and put some nonsense in here, and then I just copied this one, I can add this. You'll see at the top, we have the success message saying there are currently two. Ideally you want 50. So then we could put another one. Um, let's just add that. And then we can add another one. Notice if I try and add uh, the same text, it won't let me. So nothing will be added if I do a duplicate, which is great for data sets because duplicates are the enemy. So if I just put one on the end here and I put two on the end here and I put three on the end here and I put four on the end and so on, you can see how our data set is going to grow each time. And every time we can see at the top how many examples there are, or we even have it on the right side here. So we can see there are eight examples in the data set. So if we were to get this up to 50, let's just pretend that, that we are at 50 already, even though we are at nine. What we can do is if we want to download the JSONL file, we can do that by just hitting here and that will download for us. 
my head is in the way on this video but you'll see that it has loaded up the downloads and that file is now downloaded so i could use that in creating a fine tune if i was to click up here i could then put that file in this box here but if i wanted to do that automatically i can do that as well so i could hit this button run fine tune with jsonl file and you'll see that it's automatically uploaded the data sets. We've got data set, random string of letters, and JSONL. So it is ready to use, and it makes fine tuning really a breeze. So now we've got data set creation in a no code way, which is super simple to use and super easy to build out your data sets. And we've also got the fine tuning process for both AI21 and OpenAI, as simple as dragging and dropping and filling in a few forms a few fields on a form so it's really exciting times for people who want to build with this ai technology and get better outputs by fine tuning because we've really made it as simple as possible for anyone to do that um you can do this as much as you want within riku it's now live so all you have to do is find data set studio and you'll be able to do that in future what we plan to do for this is we plan to allow you to actually use some of your saved outputs as training data for a fine tuned model i think that's going to be really powerful and um, when we have that what it's going to do is we've automatically saved your input fields so we have the input fields we have the output you'd be able to select what what outputs you would like to have in your data set and it would automatically compile that into the JSONL for you and it would add it to the JSONL file preview at the bottom of the screen. So this is really exciting, really um, just super pumped to have this out. It's really going to help people with fine tuning and getting all of their data into fine tuned models, which is going to improve the performance of the AI and help you build some really interesting and cool stuff. Uh, that's all for today. I hope everyone's enjoying using Riku version 2. I know there are a few bugs and, and issues that we are still sort of fixing with it, but we'll get there. And when we do the full rollout, it's going to be super awesome. So I really appreciate everybody's feedback and suggestions. And I hope you enjoy building with Riku because we're really having a blast making this product. Thank you.